Okay guys, so we are gonna get Linux installed on your Windows computer. Linux actually powers most of the web. Um, it's all open source, so a lot of, well, I, I, I can't say most of the web, but it definitely powers most of the open source movement. So any, any open source programming language typically uses a Linux distribution um, for actually having their website working on, uh, so anyone can use it and see it and stuff like that. So. What we're going to do is we're going to use Ubuntu. It's open source, so that means it's free to download. Um, and go here to Ubuntu.com, go to download, and go to desktop. And we're using a 64-bit processor. Remember, again, if you hit the Windows and X key at the same time and then scroll up to System, you'll get this window. And that's the 64-bit processor. We're going to be using that. So download that version. It's a pretty big file, um, so let it take some time. And then we want to use a virtual machine to actually run Ubuntu because we don't want it to take over our Windows installation. We just want it to run with Windows so we can do both at the same time. Uh, of course, having a better processor and a, and a, and a stronger computer um, and more memory and stuff like that, that will help run it a little bit better. but you'll still be able to do it either way. Um, so download the VirtualBox, so virtualbox.org, and just go to Downloads, and download this first one, uh, the 64-bit. Um, if you do not have a 64-bit computer, uh, you can scroll down and you'll see some other things. So in the next one, we will actually install VirtualBox and get Ubuntu started to install within VirtualBox. And, and your virtual machine, is, as it's called. Okay, so we'll see you then.